Welcome back, my amazing followers. Today, we are diving deep into the mystical world of Baba Yaga, one of the most terrifying and captivating witches in folklore. Get ready to be enthralled as we uncover the full story of Baba Yaga, from her eerie hut on chicken legs to her dark forest filled with spine-chilling secrets. Our adventure begins in a dark, mysterious forest where legends and nightmares come to life. Take a moment to imagine yourself wandering through these towering trees, feeling the eerie presence that lingers in the air. And there, amidst the shadowy landscape, stands a peculiar house like no other. Picture it, a wooden hut perched on giant chicken legs. Yes, you heard it right. A monstrous farmyard bird walking about in the forest. This is the home of Baba Yaga, the witch we are about to encounter. Everyone living in the nearby village knows about Baba Yaga's strange hut and the lady who resides inside. They both fear and respect her, for the rumors have spread far and wide that she has a taste for children. Can you imagine the fear that grips the hearts of the villagers every time they think of entering Baba Yaga's forest? But fear not, my friends, for we are about to witness the tale of one brave young girl who dares to challenge the witch herself. Let me introduce you to Vasilisa, a beautiful and courageous girl who lived in the village on the edge of Baba Yaga's forest. Vasilisa's mother had passed away, but before her departure, she bestowed upon Vasilisa a magical gift, a little rag doll. This seemingly ordinary doll held a powerful secret. As long as Vasilisa fed it a little milk and a biscuit every night, the doll would come to her aid whenever she needed it. Little did Vasilisa know how crucial this gift would become. All seemed well in Vasilisa's world until her father decided to remarry. Unfortunately, his new wife had two daughters who lacked Vasilisa's beauty and kindness. Jealousy simmered within their hearts, and with an evil plan, the wicked stepmother sent Vasilisa on a treacherous journey to Baba Yaga's hut. She thought this would be the end of Vasilisa, but little did she know the power that lied within our brave heroine. As Vasilisa ventured deeper into the forest, her heart pounded with a mix of fear and determination. Finally, she reached the enchanting clearing where the hut of Baba Yaga stood. Pay close attention now, my friends, as the tale takes a spine-chilling turn. The hut turned to face Vasilisa as if it were observing her every move. The door creaked open, revealing Baba Yaga herself, a haggard and bony figure with a nose so long it appeared before the rest of her. Vasilisa's legs froze in fear, trapped by the witch's presence. Baba Yaga wasted no time testing Vasilisa's metal. She assigned her a series of seemingly impossible tasks, including cleaning the hut, tidying the yard, and cooking pumpkin soup for her supper. Doubt and panic swirled within Vasilisa's mind, but the little rag doll whispered words of courage and faith. The doll assured her that Baba Yaga, bound to speak the truth, would have to keep her promise and let her go. With Baba Yaga away from the hut, Vasilisa mustered all her strength and completed the tasks assigned to her. But the true test was yet to come. Baba Yaga flew away on a giant mortar, leaving Vasilisa alone in the hut. What would our brave heroine do to escape the clutches of the terrifying witch? Stay tuned to find out. I won't spoil the ending, my dear viewers, but rest assured that Vasilisa's resilience and strength lead her to victory. Her journey is filled with trials, triumphs, and unexpected twists. Brace yourselves for a story that will leave you on the edge of your seats, in awe of the power of bravery and the unbreakable bond between a girl and her ragdoll. Don't forget to follow us for more interesting stories and events.